At one point, there were some 50 people working in the lab. Now that number is down to 47. And because of that, another number is growing. This is the backlog of cases in the state lab, some 3,800 folders, and each month that number grows. Senator Gene Shaheen toured the lab Friday to get a look at the problem. Currently, the lab is getting about 750 requests each month for analysis, but can only process about 500. Senator Shaheen is sponsoring legislation to get the lab additional funding. It would take a certain percentage of grants and say those should go back to forensic labs to address this issue. The lab director says they've dealt with drug epidemics in the past, like the crack cocaine binges in the late 80s and 90s, but this is different. The difference here is that people are dying and that's what we really need to, to really look at and focus our attentions on. Law enforcement says the amount of drugs flowing into New Hampshire is unprecedented and the lab director says it's impossible to tell what you're dealing with with a glance. This is an oxycodone tablet. If you look at it, it um, looks the same, but it turned out it was fentanyl. That's why we need these complex instruments to, to drill down to find out what exactly is contained within the samples that we're seeing on the street. The director says with about $300,000, they could begin clearing the backlog of cases. As for a solution to the problem of substance abuse, Senator Shaheen says that will require a multifaceted approach. Everything from education for folks to treatment to enforcement to things like the crime lab. The state legislature is coming back in special session to deal with the opiate crisis. A lab director says if they adopt, adopt rather drug courts, that could end up easing the burden. However, if they increase the penalties for on fentanyl, that could add to it. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.